All right. So the first thing we're going to need to get our system set up to do some serious Kotlin programming is to get the JDK, that is the Java Development Kit. Now, you may already have this installed if you've done some Java programming before, but if that's not the case, you're going to have to follow along this video. It's just a few minutes. Otherwise, that's great. You can just skip ahead and go to the next tutorial. Now, why do we need a Java Development Kit? We want to program Kotlin. Well, Kotlin is based on Java and in fact it runs on the Java virtual machine that is the JVM. So we're going to need to be able to compile Java code in order to run our Kotlin programs. And to do that we need the JDK. Now to get the JDK you're going to have to go to this website over here. I'm going to put the URL in the course materials so you can just click on it and get straight here. So once you are on this website you can scroll down here to the Java Standard Edition Development Kit version 8 and you're going to have to accept the license agreement like here I already did that and after that you're going to have to see uh, which operating system you're on. So if you're using Linux as your operating system you probably want to go with these RPM files over here and if you're running on a 32-bit system you're going to have to choose this x68. If you're running on a 64-bit machine you're going to have to use the x64. The same goes for Windows down here. If you're using Mac OS X, that's right here. And if you're using Windows, you can choose either of these two. And again, the same thing if you're on a 32 bit system, you're going to have to choose the first one, the x86. If you're running on a 64 bit machine, you're going to have to choose this one. And you can just click on here. For me, it would be this one. And wait for the download to start. You can save the file. And once your download is complete, you can just follow along the installation steps. It's going to lead you through everything, just like any other kind of software you can install. So that's it with the JDK. You can download it here on the Oracle website. And next thing we're going to need is a decent editor. That is the IntelliJ IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. So see you in the next lecture.